could search the whole world over for a love that is forever in his great love. Never fails His 
Today's parable is the Pharisee and the tax collector. Who is a Pharisee, Holy? A Pharisee is a teacher of scriptures and a person who knows a lot about God. Oh, I see. Long, long time ago, one day, two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and one was a tax collector. The two men sat down on their knees and prayed to God. While praying, all that the Pharisee could think about was how good he was and how much better he was than any other person. He prayed to God and said, God, I thank you that I am not bad like all the other people. I am glad that I am not bad like the robbers and the cheaters. I am so glad that I am not a bad person like the tax collector over there. The Pharisee continued praying. Lord, I am so good and generous. I give lots of money to people in need and I pray a lot. When God heard his prayers, he was very angry with the Pharisee. The Pharisee was not at all humble while praying. He had too much pride in himself, and so he put himself above everyone else. Then the tax collector began praying to God. As we know, tax collectors were considered to be bad people who would cheat others for money. But this tax collector was not one of those bad people. He wanted to pray from his heart and had a lot of faith in God. He prayed to God from a distance inside the temple. God, you are so good. Please forgive me for all the wrong that I have done. Please help me to be a better person every day. Unlike the Pharisee, the tax collector was humble at his praying. God was very happy with him. The tax collector did not even think for once how good he was. Instead, he thought how good God was. So, through this parable, what Jesus wanted to explain to people was to be humble before God, and God would make them great. Wow! That was such a nice story. Thank you for the story, Holy. I loved it. The Holy Tales I'll tell you a story about a little boy called Eddie. There was a little boy named Eddie who lived with his parents and his older sister. It was Christmas time and time for celebration all around. Celebrations were in full swing in Eddie's house too. The house was decorated beautifully with a variety of delicious food and dessert placed on the table. For seven days since Christmas, Eddie would come and check the presents kept under the huge Christmas tree. He came every day to check if there were any new presents that had been added. He even put the presents in groups according to the names written on the boxes. Then he arranged them together and counted them. On Christmas Day, he saw that his sister had more gifts under the tree than he did. Eddie was very upset. He ran to the kitchen and cried to his mother. Mommy, Kate got more gifts than me. That is not fair. Eddie ran away and locked himself in his room. He sat there the whole time and sulked. He was so upset about someone else getting more gifts than him that he could not even enjoy Christmas. After a couple of hours, his sister came into the room with two big boxes of her presents. She sat next to him and said, Here, Eddie, take all my presents. But don't be upset and spoil Christmas for yourself, please. Eddie was still unhappy. He looked away from her. Do you know what the real joy of Christmas is? The real joy of Christmas is in sharing. So, I am very happy to share my presents with you. Go and share your presents too, and you'll see how happy and joyous you feel. 
Eddie thought for a while. He picked one of his gifts and ran outside the house. He looked around for a while and saw a little beggar boy sitting under a tree, shivering. Eddie came back inside and took a blanket with him and ran out once again. He wrapped the blanket around the boy and gifted him the present. The little beggar boy was so happy and so was Eddie. He came home running and hugged everyone in his house. Eddie realized the true joy of Christmas lies only in sharing. Eddie went and gave a tight hug to his sister. Then they all sat down at the table together and began with their Christmas dinner. Eddie was very, very happy. So, now you know children, the true joyous spirit of Christmas is in sharing. Aye, aye, Captain! The Holy Tales Alright, today I'm going to tell you the story of Hagar. Yippee! It's story time! Hagar was a young Egyptian woman who worked as a servant for Abraham and his wife Sarah. She lived in their house and did all the chores that she was asked to do and more. For a long, long time, Sarah couldn't have any children. So, Sarah asked for Hagar's help. And as per the practices of those days, the child which Hagar had would be credited to Sarah as the child's mother. Even though it was Sarah who herself had asked for Hagar's help, Sarah grew jealous of her and upset when Hagar had a son. Angry, she threw Hagar and her son out of her house. Hagar and her son had no place to go. She went across mountains, walked through forests and finally reached a desert. She was thirsty and exhausted and so was the baby. She sat down on the ground and cried. Suddenly, in the middle of the desert, an angel appeared to her. The angel said, My child, the Lord has promised a blessing on your son. However, you must name him Ishmael, which means God hears. Hagar was shocked. She finally composed herself and said, The Lord is the only one who sees me. Fourteen long years passed. Ishmael had grown up to be a young boy. Hagar decided to visit Abraham and Sarah. When she went to visit them, she saw Abraham and Sarah had given birth to their own son. Once again, Sarah was very angry with Hagar. She shouted at her and said, We all know why you have come back here with your son. You are here to take a part of whatever Abraham has as your son's rightful inheritance. That is never going to happen. Leave right now and take your son with you. Leave. Once again, Hagar and Ishmael fled to the desert. Before they had left, Abraham had given them a bottle of water and some food for their journey. soon that bottle was over. They were almost dying when God sent his angel to her. The angel appeared to her in the desert once again and said, Do not be afraid. God shall protect you and your son. He has heard your crying. Don't you remember God's blessing? Saying this, the angel disappeared. And to Hagar and Ishmael's surprise, spring water appeared in front of them in the middle of the vast desert. Hagar and Ishmael drank water from the spring and they survived. Ishmael grew up and raised a whole nation. He had many descendants who were divided into 12 tribes just as God had promised. So children, that was the story of Hagar 
another remarkable woman of the Bible who was known for her faith in God. That was such a nice story, Holy. Hagar was such a strong woman. Yes, no matter how difficult life became, she never lost faith in God, and God rewarded her for that. Now it's time to win some brownie points. What's today's question, Holy? Well, today's question is, what was Abraham's wife's name? I know! Her name was Sarah! Aha! This means I earned the brownie point! Woohoo! <laughs> yes, well done, Tabby! So, that was today's story. Hope you enjoyed it! We shall be back soon, won't we kids? Oh, oh yes, yes, we do! Bye-bye!